So bulk ammo status. Uh, I'm going to go uh, char. We're going to copy this. These four lines we're going to write now. We're going to be copying them a lot because we have quite a lot of different things to do. Ammo op code, and that's um, a char array equals, and that will be slash x ff. And what I want to show you now. Um, X zero E. Now, as you can probably see on your, is that right? What's wrong with that? FF uh, zero. So that should be zero six, not zero E. Zero E is the next one. Um, so as you can see here, uh, basically what we did is FF FF zero six ammo status. As you can see here, uh, what we wrote in is zero E. So that's our. Um, Oh, sorry, I keep getting this. Yeah, no, no, that's fine, that's fine. So our opcode is 06, as you can see there. That's that. And then what we're going to do again is going to go ammo default. Oops, default. Default opcode. And now our default is actually 0E instead. So what we're going to use, I mean, you feel free to call a nope on this. But what I'm calling is, um, you have to call two nopes. You're going to call like this if you're going to do those but um, what I'm going to call is these <coughs> and what I'm saying here basically is that um, increment instead of uh, decrementing my ammo and we're going to overwrite that instruction when it's turned on and then uh, it'll be overwritten pretty much until you close the game so and then we're going to go D word because this is the last thing that's missing D word you see this bad boy here that's what we're using and that's the address we got to search the D word ammo address equals and now the beauty of this we're going to call this uh, as a d word zero times because we're telling windows that this is a bad boy hex not windows sorry we're just telling the program that this this could be written on any kind of thing like uh, it could be written on dev c++ anything like that it doesn't really matter yeah that's our address for that so this is our armor status done so next thing we're going to declare is our health status and this one's a little bit different. This is the only one that's odd compared to the others. So um, I wasn't too happy about doing this one, but you can take the same approach for this one as you take for that one. But because if I made um, instead of decreasing ammo increase or something, the bots would also be invincible. But that's just the way this is. Now, um, well, this has got health status. Um, so health, health status. Let's just copy that. Um, do we have health opcode? We yes, we do. So we have health uh, health values. I just a bit stuck on this. Yeah, this is different. So we're gonna call this health value. And it should be the opcode. It doesn't really matter if you got opcode or value. Health um, base address. Yes, yeah, so a default health value. Default. Now, if you're wondering about these names, this is basically what's in here. Is I'm going to write these first, and I'll tell you. Um, this value is basically times 39, 39, uh, 39, 5. So what this means is, right? This is basically the, the word lead, uh, of course, in lead speak. So if I turn this on my calculator, I'm going to show you something. So if I turn uh, view uh, programmer one on, we're going to look for 1337 in decimal in hex. And look what we get. We get 539. See? 539. So it starts off with this one. All you do is you grab the last number and put it at the front. And then it becomes 539. It's a little bit difficult first. So um, go back to decimal. And that's what how I did it. So um, what this one's going to give you, the default health value. So if we go, um, let's try this, make sure, hopefully I get this right. So 0 um, E. Yeah, so um, it'll be 0 E, which is basically just E by itself. Um, and then FF. And we go to decimal. And I did that wrong. What did I do wrong there? Oh, sorry, I was doing this old one here. And that's the address. Don't worry about that. Uh, basically, that should be uh, 64, 0. So 64. You can just do 64. You don't have to do the 0, but I'll do it anyway. Follow me if you like. Uh, so if we go 64 in uh, in hex, so 64, 
then change that decimal, 100 is what it means. So what we're doing is when we turn the health off, we turn it back to 100. We could have in a way that we read the memory and then store the health they currently had, but I think that was a little bit too much effort. So then what we're going to go is, um, yeah, so this is going to be different. It'll be health base, health base address because we're using the old system that we use for the console trainer. Now we're only doing this for this one, so don't worry too much about this. So, um, and then we're going to go D word health offsets. So, if you don't know what the offsets are, then feel free to go back to the um, tutorial two and go at least watch through the console trainer, and that I'll explain it in a lot more detail there. So, I will just only skim it here. Health offsets equals um, zero times F four. This doesn't have to be a an array, of course. I only did it an array because that's what the function accepts. 0 times F4, that seems right to me, so I'm 64. Um, and uh, don't worry about any of the errors, you see, like I said, this is screwed up, so then we go D word, D word, uh, address to right, to right. And that doesn't get assigned a value because we find that out through the offsets. Uh, there's only one offset, so it's really quick. Now, having that crap done, now we go back into this system again, which is what what is the fun one so now this one we're going to call this call it r r fire okay just copy that and oh we got this one r fire r fire r fire so that's all it is really it's um the ones we want to write to we want to go 90 because we're 90s uh no op remember uh it means we don't want it to do anything just skip it and the default opcode, which you should be able to see here for rapid fire, let's have a look. Um, 8910, so we're going to go um, 89, uh, 89, and then 10. Remember, we got these values earlier? That's where we we're going to put them in. So, uh, And then don't forget to change the uh, address here, or we're looking at some trouble. Uh, address should be. Actually, we've got it here, haven't we? So, time between shots. It should be this one. Hopefully, I'm going to confirm to make sure it is. Um, 45B75A. So, 45B. Beautiful. It is that one. So, we got 90, 89, 10. Um, and the fire status. That's fine. Um, and now we've got recoil status. Now, recoil uh, does wander off a little bit because we've got to manage a lot of addresses. It's not just one. So, the first one. Um, Recoil, just do recoil, coil, just replace that with recoil. And this is going to be a little bit different because we've got many addresses. So, uh, recoil fire addresses, recoil addresses. Actually, just go for address, just want to keep the old system. Um, and we're going to go a little bit different here. Instead of a char array, we're going to do a string array. So, std string. There it is, um, and we're gonna go recode default op. Put a knee there because we've got multiple codes. We'll we'll follow this one. So, comment this f just for now, and then we'll get rid of it in a second. Equals. This open thing is remember this is a variable, not a function. But I like doing it this this way. So uh, let's go for that. And our first one, as you can see here, right? We're writing all these no all these values here, so let's just copy the sample here. So this is the standard of doing it, of course. Um, and what we're going for is our first one is eight B, okay. Capitals. So let's go for sixteen. So eight B sixteen. Uh, so just copy this a bunch of times now. I think it's about seven two three four five six seven. Uh, so eight B sixteen uh, online. And then the next one is. Uh, 8b times 52 it is it's right here as you can see times 52 14 so 52 probably copying and pasting is a lot more trouble than um, 52 and uh, let's copy that again uh, 14 should that be is that right yep uh, yeah so times 14 our next one is just 50 so just do all that 50. Okay. The next one is this biggest value, so it's 8D. 
um, 8B, 8D, uh, then 4C, then one more because this one has 4 bytes, 24. And the reason why we chose string is because with a char we'd have had to do a 2D array, and I don't want to, I don't want things to get complicated, well, too complicated anyway. So 8D, 4C, uh, 24, 1C, that seems good to me. Uh, then we've got 51 for the next one. And the next one is 8B, C, E, C, E. And the last one is F, F, D, 2, so D, 2. So we're going to have a slightly independent system for the recoil. Now this is hopefully covering all angles because at some point in a game you'll find something like this. It, it won't always be just one function that you're noping. Uh, sometimes it will be, which is great, but you got to expect the um, that not to be the case. So uh, recoil opcode. Now the opcodes, um, we said that opcodes obviously. Uh, we're going to use this pretty much to do our ones, so we don't need to worry about the um, opcodes for this one, uh, recoil status, and then we recoil address, and what we're going to do here is an array because we have many addresses as you can see here, we have all these addresses, and um, what we're doing here is saying equals, open those bad boy curly braces, and um, go here, so s go through all these, let's copy that, we've got seven different addresses, so just do that a couple of times, oops, all those addresses in there so we can access our good stuff later on. CF, then we got 10, which is great. Um, it's another 3, I think. Um, so I'm going to do a little bit of a thingy so I don't take over the whole th screen. So the next one should be, uh, so I've got 10, 3 more. Actually, it should just be 714. Don't know why I was copying and pasting so much work for nothing. 15 and 17. Okay, so hopefully they'll be good. So, um, 70, 70A, 70C, 70F, uh, 710, just confirming them all, guys. 714, 715, 717. Yep, I'm happy with that. So, just do that to there. Get rid of this for now because we're not going to be leaving here for a while. Uh, D word recoil address. Now, as usual, we're going to do them all at once. So, uh, what is it expecting? What are you talking about? Yeah, what's wrong with that? Oh, sorry. Yeah, forgot to kill that uh, there. So, some of the errors are actually legit. Uh, others would not be as good. So, I think our biggest problem is getting one of these wrong. If you get one of these wrong, we'll get a crash immediately, but we'll know what it is. So, to avoid doing that, hopefully, we'll, we won't make that mistake, but I know we'll make a mistake at some point. We always do, or I do anyway. Um, okay, so int, this is something external here, int that is only applied to the recoil, int no of bytes. So this one's to store the number of bytes in each of these, so here is 2 bytes, 3 bytes, 1 byte, 4 bytes, 1 byte, 2 bytes, 2 bytes, I'm sure you get the picture of that, equals, and what this does is stores every byte, um, so we can later use it for our formula when we're going through every um, through every um, well recoil address four one uh, one two I can't be making mistakes here two so we've got two three one four two three one four yep one two two yeah that seems right to me so seven one one two three five six seven yep seven of them that's great um, and then we're going to do our auto gun. So auto gun becomes normal stuff again. Um, bull. It's called auto gun. Um, let's call that. Um, yeah, that seems good to me. So um, this one's the. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I'm just thinking. So, auto gun status. I just found some useless variables on my other example, so I'll get rid of them later. Yeah, so that seems fair enough to me. So, what we're going to do now is um, so we've got all of them in, so let's just put the right numbers in. 
so uh, autogun we've got that uh, here and uh, our results are 